Hey everybody, Brian Acosta for Sports Video Group coming to you from the SVG Sports Graphics Forum here in New York City. We're joined by Soren Shaleen from Chiron Higo. Chiron is the title sponsor of the event today. Soren, thanks a lot for supporting the event and uh, being here today. Thank you, and uh, let me kind of just compliment you on the uh, pronunciation of the last name. It's not easy. Yeah, yeah thank you. Appreciate that. Uh, obviously, we got a packed house here. A lot of great conversations going on about how far graphics are evolving and how much more advanced and augmented and realistic they're becoming. Uh, uh, what's the big takeaway for you guys from this event? I think uh, for us and, and hopefully for everyone, it's, uh, it's actual networking and, uh, and the, the ability to learn from each other. And uh, it's, uh, there was one of the early presentations uh, that was all about like, how artists and engineers come together. And I think that that's probably what this, is event, what this event is all about and should be all about. It's uh, how you take someone's creative thoughts and turn it into uh, creative output. And for us as vendors, it's, that, that's where we are. We, we need to help these people to to uh, kind of get their message through and, and get their their art artistic ideas through and uh, and uh, and it, but it, it goes both ways because the people that understand technology best they're probably the people that are getting most out of their design and all of this this meeting is uh, super exciting and it's always been like since since well 50 years ago when Chiron actually was founded. <laughs> well, one of the really big projects that you guys worked on where you helped someone achieve a vision, uh, you worked with Major League Baseball on the StatCast uh, implementation that rolled out during the season last year. Uh, it was very popular among fans. It uh, made its way onto a lot of broadcasts throughout the year. Uh, take us inside that project and how things went last year and what fans might have to look forward to in the 2016 season. Yeah, it's uh, last year was like uh, all about um, uh, the... Um Let's, let's not call it low-hanging fruit, but almost in, in, in that area, like the stuff that, is, uh, that was pretty obvious that we could do that would, that would uh, have a great impact on the game and the game production. And, uh, but what we found out was that there's so much data and this huge challenge of actually filtering data so that you get like the proper thing through, that's, that's a huge challenge. And, and that's what we've been working quite a lot with, uh, with Emil Bam with, um, uh, leading up to this season to try to try to have a system that helped the operator to to, to uh, sell the right thing to the producer. And um, I think, uh, and then again, like we're just scratching the surface of what you can do with all of this data. So we're also gonna be, I think we're gonna see in the next season, uh, kind of um, uh, tracking data control cameras and, and, uh, and those kinds of things, like going more to automatic production type environments. Uh, that's stuff that we're experimenting with as well. It's um, yeah, it's it's a lot of fun. Being a nerd is, yeah, that's what it is, right? <laughs> oh, we love it. Uh, lastly, uh, what do you kind of see coming down the roadmap for 2016 for you guys? Obviously, you'll have more with Stackcast, but uh, any other big developments in the industry or key talking points from today you think are catching your ear that you think uh, might really permeate through the rest of the calendar year? Yeah, I think uh, I think there are kind of the, I think there are two things. At least uh, what, what we think are the most important trend as a vendor. Uh, so one of them is going completely to software. Okay. I mean, end-to-end -end using software. And it's not software because it should be software, it, but software because it's much more flexible. And uh, I think we're going to see like a lot of remote production stuff coming, a lot of like these uh, hybrid solutions where, uh, where people just want to... I mean, everybody should be able to produce content and video. Uh, and I think that's... One of one of our, uh, the trends that we're keeping quite watching quite closely at this point, and the other thing is uh, the um, kind of uh, augmented reality is becoming bread and butter for everyone, sure. and um, um, we're um, partnering with um, Hybrid, one of the um, oldest and most experienced company in, companies in, in that space now, and it's super exciting. Um, and leading up to NEB, we've got um, yeah. There's, NAB is going to be fun. It's always fun. It's always fun. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> All right, Soren. Well, thanks for a lot for uh, being a part of this event, for supporting this event, and for taking a few minutes with us here today. Thank you.